Alright, this is my first time doing any sort of commentary after a match, so uh, kind of just kind of explain my thought process. So, when I start, um, I usually just kind of pick a direction that has a lot of ciphers in it. To figure this way, there's two or three. I also thought I saw somebody for a second there, uh, on the right, and I did, so that worked out. I definitely see somebody on the cipher there, but I'm going to go to this one since it's a bit out in the open. Gravedigger, he wouldn't have been my first choice for a chase, but I get a pretty early hit, and I'm pretty confident I get him with a fireball, which I do. I have a lot of luck on Robbie, where um, hitting fireballs on targets that don't know where I am. Um, if they can see me and the fireball, they've got a better opportunity to dodge because they can see what I'm doing. It, they see the animation of me pulling, and they can see the angle that it's coming from. Get another hit here, building a lot of presence, which actually wound up working out great. Um, yeah, I hit a lot more fireballs blind than I do on targets that can see me. Blink through, big whiff. Feels bad, whiff again. Alright, I don't want to get to me, I just keep chasing him. Um, magic axe. Bigger than it looks. That Mist Magnet uh, is where the entire survivor game falls apart. Because if he could prevent me from getting down here, this game goes very differently. Basement tree. Early rescue attempt, good idea. He was close by anyway, there's no reason not to. Uh, kind of a panic fireball from me. Wasn't even close. I wasn't expecting Anti to come here, but uh, fortunately, I have a ton of presence at this point. So I get the 1-2, and I'm okay, like, basically trading at this point. I got two people at half health, one another person in basement. So I'm, I'm pretty happy. I just chair Anti, grab a twig. And uh, my plan here was just to go back upstairs and camp, but I have sight on Prospector. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll go harass. Plant a tree. The plan was kind of just to scare him off. I realized there's nobody on Tinnitus. So I'm like, I could, I could probably go be a bit of a nuisance here, but he actually lets me get the hit. I don't think he realized I already had a magnet, because he threw another one down. At this point, I'm like, okay, I can at least get one uh, chair stage, and I'll definitely be able to hit anybody that's coming up the stairs, even if they do manage to get a rescue. I didn't realize that uh, Grave was down there. I was just planning on going back anyway. And I see that they got the rescue off, but like I said, I was close enough. Fireball one, whack the other. They really needed to take different exits here. It wasn't going to make a huge difference either way, but it, I waste a lot less time because they go down fairly close to each other. And I have a really good idea where Gravedigger is. I figure I have enough time to take him back to the dungeon. I know he only had one uh, chair state, so... I want to basically secure this by making sure he goes in basement. Look around. Kind of checking twig. Trying to get better about maintaining the uh, twig twig economy. Oh, it's a twig. Spot prospector and go after him. Plant a tree so if he leaves, he gets slowed. I give him an unnecessarily good uh, angle for the magnet there and then miss a fireball, which is a bit of a bummer. With a swing. Twig I picked up paying off because I can plant another tree. I usually hit these fireballs, but I missed this one. Or 
more magnets. He has so many. Fortunately, the tree I placed earlier is still paying dividends. Blink hit. At this point, he's got a fireball. He's he's running okay, but not amazing, so I'm pretty sure I can get him before the, the cypher's ready. And here I see the fireball coming around. I know about where he is, and I know where he wants to go, so I pull it thinking, okay, if he waited to see which direction I was going to go, he was going to eat the fireball. And if he doesn't, I get the speed boost and I can hit him as he goes through the window, which is what happens. And I go to chair him over here because it's between two ciphers. And I happen to spot Barmaid. Who runs away, which I don't know if there was a winning play here. But running away if you're intending to rescue, uh, like, giving me more distance to play with is not a good idea. And she winds up eating the fireball, and if she didn't drink right there, she eats the double hit. Here's where I misplay. He magnets, I chair. And I don't know why I kind of just like panic here and I'm just like, oh, I'll just try and break the magnet. And I mean, I do, but then he just gets that for free. There was no reason to do that. I should have just minimized the distance and given him a small stun. Should have gotten closer to the chair and tried to screw up his angle rather than go further away. Fortunately, I'm not punished for it. Not really. And we get the hit. And that's all she wrote. GG's. Uh, and if you're still watching, thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all. Peace.